Hi, I'm Jay Haynes with the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Today in this video, we are going to do this very cool and very easy to do atomic particle transition. So actually, this is a really easy effect to achieve. I am working today in HitFilm Pro version six to do this, but any of the pro versions all the way back, I think to hit film two ultimate will work with this as long as they have the atomic particle uh, effect, which is under the particles and simulation right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new composite shot. And for this example, I'm only going to make it uh, two seconds long and click. Okay. I want to create a new layer. I'm going to Click on the new layer tab and a new text layer. It brings up the text properties box and it has the width and height. I'm going to make the width 1920, which is the width of the project. So that way it will be easy for me to put some uh, letters in there and center it. I'm going to click on my text icon and clicking inside the box. I will type in the first of the transition text. I will highlight it all, go to the text box center it, uh, expand it, maybe change the font a little bit. Okay. Basically get it to the way that I want it to look this way. Okay. Now I will want to go ahead and add my transition to it. So again, I'll go to the effects and I will drop the atomic particle into that effect. Okay. Or into that text box. What I will do is twirl open the properties and under the fractal properties, you can see that there are seven or six different things here, and we're going to keyframe two of them. One will be the displace strength here, and the other one will be the wavelength here. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that display strength and just crank it up to the max, which is 1024. You can see how that kind of crinkles it all up. And I'm going to take the wavelength and drop it down to 10 or 15%. Okay. I'll go in here about, say, half a second. And then I'm going to return those back to the normal, okay, which is 0 and 25%. Okay. Then I'm going to go to 15 seconds or 15 frames to the end of the um, deal, and I'm going to replicate those keyframes. And then I'm going to go to the very end of it and go back to the full 1024 and 10%. Okay. So now what happens is, is it will drop in and then it will fly out like that. Okay. And that's pretty much it. So now what I will do is, is I may say duplicate that and I can just rename that to composite shot number two, open it up. And this, what I will do is just grab that text and change it to uh, something else, right? Say like that. Okay, and then I might duplicate it again and rename that one. Then I will go ahead and grab that one and just type in uh, my third word, right? And then I might go to uh, duplicate it one more time. We'll call that one number four and open it up. And again, I will just highlight it. So now I have these four shots. What I'll do is I'll come out to the editor timeline and I literally will just drop them all right here onto the timeline. Okay. And then you can see as I play through it, the first one comes in, then the second one comes in and the third one comes in and the fourth one comes in. And it's literally that easy right now. You will notice that if you kind of zoom in, this is kind of not real high quality looking letters. And the reason for that is because I have not adjusted the particle uh, or number of particles under the particle placement. Right now it's set at 500. Now that could create some very interesting looking things. I could drop this way down and have sort of a stripe deal. Uh, I could drop this down and have sort of a... Uh, you know, kind of a dots thing. Okay. Or I could just crank these all the way up to the max, which is that 1024 and have the solid 
uh, letters. But it will slow your computer down, takes longer to render if you do it that way. So, you know, I would w wait until I was done, very last thing, uh, when I was sure that it looked good and I had it all going there, and then go with that. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I'm Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. If you have any questions or feedback, please put them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I'm Jay Haynes for the hit. I hate when I do that. All right, let's try it again. I'm Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. And thank you. Oh, I did it again. All right, here we go.